like I always say, I don't want to marry a South African because of their mindset when it comes to marriage. A South African just can just wake up tomorrow and say you're divorcing. Divorce does is is nothing to them. You understand? Wow. So that's number one. That's reason. another cultural shock again for you. <laughs> that's number one reason I don't even want to ever fall in love with a South African. <laughs> Because you can just wake up and leave me anytime. It doesn't. Re- yeah, what you mean? You're so shocked now that you get inbox from inbox of it's South African men saying, "For that reason, we are marrying yeah, you." Yeah, he doesn't care that uh, he, he, I love him. He doesn't <laughs> care that you have children with him. Guys, just wake up here and leave and say he is in love with someone else. And the next thing, divorce. Now, in our countries where we come from, divorce, especially in my culture, is not an option. No, I don't. I always sure. tell people that people separate. They separation mm. sometimes when you can't deal with each other. Everyone goes their way, but a time comes a woman comes back to her home. <laughs> Even the husband who remarried knows that his wife will come. He back. back. Yeah. He always leaves space. He knows that at a time. She will come back. Is it not the thing, dear yes, South Africa, for example, this is me just talking about it, that the reason why they will have that mindset of relationship is because they, they don't want to deal with the abuse or deal with the pain that relationship comes with. We are here in South Africa. Yeah, here in South Africa, where you said, for example, <laughs> the reason why you won't want to marry them is because they wake up one morning and they just go. Maybe you become a pain and they don't want to deal with the pain and they say, to well, move. marriage is for better. Oh, for worse. That's what our understanding is. Uh, back home, yeah. we have people who, uh, once you're married, you're married. Mm, mm. Your husband loses his job. He can't bring money home. You work hard and bring money home. Mm. And he will eat it the way you used to eat his money <laughs> when he was working. Are you understanding? I get you. I get the you. same thing. The wife will lose her job and come home and the husband will provide yeah. the way he was pri- providing or she was providing when she was working. Mm. So mm. in South Africa here, yeah, men can just leave you because that you don't bring money home. Um, I always see South Africa as uh, not Africa, like uh, a country not in Africa okay. in terms of how people uh, do things. I'm tempted to ask you, have you dated a South African man? I've tried once. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, because we have to be saying all of this, because somebody will be like, okay, well, why would she be talking like that? She, how does she know we South African? So you've tried one. So you're I talking- dated South African for less than three months. Three months. The, the culture here in South Africa uh, compared to Kenyan, how similar are they or how apart? Well, in terms of how they, they pay Lobola, the Zulu culture mostly. The I Zulu, like to say, but you do you think know. our leaders in Africa are fostering collaborations and unifying us as a continent? I don't think so. I think they are pretending. But you've, de- I think what I'm trying to struggle here, you've divorced the person. Mm. What owning are we talking about? Divorce is paper. Yeah. In my place, people believe marriage is a covenant. <laughs> In case you want to get married, Kenya, are you hearing? So, <laughs> so divorce is a paper. Marriage is a covenant. So you can't see a covenant. You can't, can't see a paper. Mostly, wow, I'm telling you the t- truth. No, I promise you, I'm Kenya, enjoying what you're saying. Yeah. I think, I think this is the first time I'm tribe, hearing, I'm hearing that. And so it's like, tribe, okay, it's interesting. In my tribe, yeah. that happens. I've had aunties who died while they were not together with their husband. You find that the husband moved 